I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in to the Texas Titan TV show here with my client, Nicholas Smiles. We're about to do the interview for Therapy Girl. And to all the Therapy Girl followers out there, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at DwayneAAOT at yahoo.com or also subscribe to my channel and send your questions in and I'll take care of you. Help guide, lead, motivate, and push you along the way to reach your goal. So until next time, Continue to follow us along, support, and motivate, and we'll continue to inspire and push others. Thank y'all. Good afternoon. Thank you for the opportunity. You are more than welcome. Now, Dwayne, I want you to share with us this story about you training these other kids in the neighborhood and how you've transformed so many people's bodies. Tell me, how did you do it and how did you do it each time? Well, it's something I clearly have a passion for. And growing up as a child, my biggest motivation was my older brother. I saw the kind of shape he was in. And I always wanted to achieve that. So I competed in various sports growing up, um, all state wrestling, football, track, any sport there was, I tried to enter and try to stay active and play some college football. And when I got out of college from playing football, I moved to Houston. Originally, I'm from Kansas City, Kansas, and I got into personal training at 24 Hour Fitness, where I worked for five years, and then I left and started my own company, Against All Odds Fitness, where I've been running for the last 10 years. Awesome. And as long as you have been a personal trainer, what are the common reasons you think that people choose not to make health and fitness a priority? I believe they just keep sit putting it off and eventually the weight catches up with them until one day they just look in the mirror and realize that it has caught up with them. They don't really see what's going on. People around them are not being honest. And these are the things that I hear when I sit down and talk to people in everyday consultations. Right. So what do you think are the common misconceptions people make about fitness and nutrition? For women, definitely that if you lift weights, you're going to get big muscles. That is not possible because their body does not produce enough testosterone. And another big misconception that I hear a lot of is that people are scared to eat carbs and they're scared to eat fats. When their body needs the carbs as a source of energy and their body needs a healthy source of fats to keep their hormone levels balanced. Shanika, I wanted to add, once you get your nutrition down, I think about my very first week when I got on Dwayne's nutrition plan. I had already started working with Dwayne about a month before I decided, okay, I need to commit and I got all my cheat days and all the alcohol out my system. <laughs> and the first week I went clean, cold turkey, I lost seven pounds. It was, I couldn't believe how fast it worked. Okay, so I mean, say I'm ready to commit, 
ready to go into the gym. I'm ready to get a personal trainer because I'm inspired. I've, I've seen Nicola's body and I'm, I'm ready. I need. I, I walk into the gym. What should be the? What are the important questions I need to be asking that trainer? Uh. One thing, if you could do some cardio for a little, you know, for a week or two, just to scout out that trainer, see what he's doing. If, if he's taking care of his client, or if his client is, is doing a squat and they're texting their friend, you probably don't want to work with that trainer. My best suggestion would be is to watch that trainer for a week or two, because to be honest with you, you could sit down with that trainer and they could impress you with the amount of degrees and certifications they have but still not get results so it's definitely do your research by word of mouth to see who's actually getting results and if that person's getting results you should watch them to see if they're attentive and professional so that's that's my um, best thing I should say because I've been in this business for a long time and I see a lot of people and a lot of trainers just doing things they shouldn't be doing and that trainer probably should be in shape if they're if they're doing <laughs> what they're supposed to be doing practicing what they're preaching they're going to be in shape and they're going to be attentive professional and on time and they'll be practicing what they're preaching if they can't practice what they preach they can't be a hundred percent into you because they're not even taking care of their self right that's good advice very very good advice because you have to nurture and self-care you have to take care of yourself in order to be able to take care of other people that's that's in general period you know so thank you that's really good advice but thank Nicola, you. nothing comes easy and that's no. the reason why they say no pain no gain the eye of the tiger all those things that they say to make you feel good you have to motivate yourself and from this <laughs> interview our, our motto would be no excuses no excuses to everyone out there and they could feel free to contact me through Facebook and private subscribers on my YouTube channel. You know, I will help them reach their journey. Any questions they may have. Yeah, and I'm going to encourage people to do that because, you know, it, it could be anywhere. Your training could be, you know, someone that's tangible that you can touch them. Or if you're not, you know, if you want to do like Nicola did, she, she bought a DVD when she first started. You know, you can do that. You can go to Dwayne. YouTube page, but from this conversation, I'm walking away knowing that you have to take baby steps, you have to motivate yourself, do not step on the scale and continue to weigh yourself, no. you have to eat regularly and healthy, and what else am I missing? Just hold on, hold on, hold on. So, no excuses. No excuses. Surround yourself around positive people. My biggest work is done more mentally than physically with my clients. Okay, so tell me about the shows. I know you have some coming up, so let us hear the date. Uh, October the 26th here in Fort Worth, Texas. We have a big show March 1st, 2014, which is for fire, police, military, nurses from all over so we want y'all all over from Atlanta everywhere to come on down to Houston Texas March 1st uh, May the 10th at Moody Garden Galveston Islands Resort is a pro qualifier we're talking about bodybuilding bikini figure model male and female um, teen as well masters that's May the 10th that's our big show Moody Gardens Galveston Islands and then our beginner show is July 19th, 2014, here in Houston, Texas, called Space City Classic. These shows are put on by me and Charles Anderson. We are the Texas promoters for Muscle Mania, the, again, the largest natural drug tested organization that's been around for over 30 years. Yes, I've heard of um, Muscle Mania, so you, that is a reputable organization.